Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to convert a small DC motor, such as this one, into a three phase alternator. It is well known that these permanent magnet DC motors that you can find in toys can work also as DC generators. That is, if you make the axis turn, you will obtain a DC voltage at the motor's terminals. Let's see if we connect the multimeter to the terminals of the motor. We make the axis turn manually and we obtain some millivolts, positive voltage. Now, if we turn the axis in the opposite way, we also get a voltage, but it is negative. So we are obtaining DC from the motor and the sign of the voltage depends on the rotation. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Of course, the output voltage of the generator depends on the speed of rotation. To see that, I have made this arrangement. I have here this motor, which is acting as a motor. It is connected to the power supply. And this other motor, which is identical, it is acting as a generator. It is connected to the multimeter. So I will now apply a voltage to the motor and this motor will move this generator since they are coupled by this little plastic tube. And let's see the voltage that we can obtain. I will apply three volts to the motor. Let me turn on the power supply. And we can see that we obtain a little bit more than one volt. Of course, there are always losses. Let's see the output of the generator on the oscilloscope. Okay. As it can be expected, it is not pure DC, like that from a battery, which will be a single flat line. We have these variations of the output voltage. The average is, we have two divisions, 500 millivolts per division is around one volt, as we already have seen in the multimeter. But there are these variations on the output. What is DC? Definitely it is not AC because it never crosses the zero and becomes negative. It is important to mention that energy is generated by rotating the motor axis, but also if we keep the axis fixed and we rotate the motor case. Our generator will work by rotating the case. Inside the motor, we have the coils that are fixed to the axis and the magnets that are fixed to the motor case. The important thing is the relative movement between the coils and the magnets. So we can rotate the coils or rotate the case and the result is the same. Three phase generators have three coils that can be connected in two ways, delta connection and star connection. In the delta, we have the three phases, A, B, and C. And in the star connection, we also have three phases, A, B, and C, but we have a neutral point. Most of these small electric motors have three coils that are connected in the delta configuration. 
The reason they produce DC instead of three-phase AC is that the commutator changes the polarity every third of a revolution. In order to obtain three-phase AC, the only thing we need to do is to connect three wires to the internal terminals of the motor. Of course, now we cannot make the rotor turn because of the wires, but we need to maintain the rotor fixed and make the case of the motor to rotate. I have glued these tubes of progressively smaller diameter to the case of the motor that will be our alternator. The smaller tube can fit on the axis of the motor that will move the alternator. And here I have the full system. Let me apply voltage to the motor. As you can see, I used the back of the motor, I put it backwards, as a bushing. Ok, let's now see the output of the alternator in the oscilloscope. We have two channels, so we can see two of the faces of the alternator. You can see that there is a delay from one way to another, and that's because the coils are separated 120 degrees from each other. If we change the speed of the motor, the frequency will also change. Ok, there you have a simple project for a three-phase alternator from a DC motor. Of course, this is just a model and you cannot get a lot of power from this, but if you want to scale it up, you can use a larger electric motor and maybe couple the axis to a wind turbine or hydraulic turbine. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.